Navika, I'm amazed and I'm aghast to hear all the comments by the fellow panelists just because of their political prism they are carrying in front of them. This is very true that we, can, we are not able to absolutely prevent rape. There's no doubt about it. Let's admit it. But there's a difference. If there's a rape, that should be dealt very sternly. That should be dealt with the iron hands. There should not be any attempt to prevent the rapist, to just protect him, save the rapist. This is the question where we are just not hitting. What Bengal police and what Mamta government has done is absolutely cover up and hush up the case. If there is a crime scene that is always covered until, unless the investigation is not done, it's not complete. The whole crime scene, the construction work started. Your action reflects your intention. First, you try to make it, make it a suicide. When the large amount of semen were found, you didn't send it to biochemical examination or a forensic examination. Why? All these things could raise questions. If there's a multiple gang rape, why only one accused was arrested and the case was made why to look like that is all over? Strike across the nation. You know why this happened? Don't interrupt, don't interrupt. Why this happened? I'll tell you, Kamrul. Kamrul, 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 I'll tell you why this happened. RML is not working. Indra Gandhi Hospital is not working. That if Rajasthan, Rajasthan rape happens because the Pradesh Mardo ka hai. When Chief Where Minister JP says that they are not going to be able to do it, people are dying, when, this are closed, are when somebody closed, says that girls are, are getting murdered after rape because they are, they are now every, they are increasing the number of cases, that's why they get murdered. Sir, you are a detective. First of all, try to go and talk to the doctors in the premier institutions the across the nation and break the strike. Patients are dying. Start shouting like start shouting and start barking like anything. They you know, one person, one person calls uh, the protests a drama, the other person says that these protests are costing, yes, they are costing patients, dear, but can you, can you please understand the emotion of these doctors? Kamru Zaman Chaudhary himself says that his daughter is an intern in a medical college in Kolkata and is scared to go to a college. I, I want to go back to Akhtar Ali. Akhtar Ali, you've made some charges. Are you, are you going to put these charges in front of the CBI because you put uh, charges of uh, literally uh, mafia behavior of Sande Sandeep Ghosh? Uh, you've said also in your statement that he could be the mastermind with one or two others. You have yeah, been in that college. Be what is, is your yeah. charge based on information that you've got, gathered from the college and hospital where no, you work? Evidences. I have also submitted evidences to appropriate authority. One criminal case is also uh, going on in Shyamda criminal court case. Shyamda criminal court, one case against Sandeep Ghosh is going on. Two PLI were filed against him. Public litigation interest to PLI were already filed against him. He has so many charges, but because of having so influence, power, all all time he becomes safe. And well, that on the chair serious of charges coming in, serious revelations coming in here on the news are we. Do hope uh, that now that the case has been taken over by the CBI, all of these charges will be investigated into and the guilty be brought to book. Of course, the Trinamool Congress leaders would be well advised to stop making light of the situation. Nobody is sitting here to find fault with the public statements and uh, make jokes about it. We do hope that they themselves realize that there is no merit for making light of this particular case. A 31-year-old girl has been brutally murdered. If this is an issue that can be dealt with lightly by Trinamool Congress, well, God be with them. Believe it at that. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on debate number one.